a pocket pocket watch. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so we're gonna make some jean micarta today. It's been a while since we've done this. Uh, I wanna say a couple years. I bought this from a thrift store. It's a great place to get jean material, super cheap. And I like it too, because it's a really deep blue. So, I think it should look really good. And all we need to do is cut this up into squares. You don't want a pocket watch to be crazy thick, so this should be more than enough for what we want. So this is a an old Tupperware, and I think, oh my gosh, it's almost like I, I did it on purpose. I think you're supposed to shake it. You know what, maybe I should shake well. Okay, good. <laughs> Woo. You, know, you don't want to be shaking the wrong can. <laughs> and then you just hit this whole thing with mold release. That's embarrassing. Stay on, the lid won't stay on. Puts a little barrier in there that'll help this all slip out. So the resin I'm using today is Total Boat. It's a marine resin. The main reason I'm using it is because it's got the pumps, which is really nice when you're making something you don't know how much resin you're gonna need. All right, so we'll start with three pumps from each, which will give us, okay, three ounces, nice. If you want to have problems with your resin, don't mix it well. That's, that's the easiest way to mess yourself up. And, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. All right, so I think I've got five or six in here now, and we're just gonna add some resin. And you'll see the resin will just soak right into the jeans. And we can keep adding more right over the top. Gaps make for an interesting pattern. And if you're making knife scales, I can see that being a problem because it needs to be a solid handle. But for something like this, it's just a decoration. The voids make it interesting. Don't stress about clamping this. It doesn't seem right to make a pocket watch and not use a pocket, so. So that, that looks really well absorbed to me. It's gonna take a while for that to cure and um, then we'll pop it out of the mold. Yep, the mold release did its job. I think that's the seam from the pocket, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see on the bottom it's Super glossy, which means that our resin made it all the way through. And this is a one and three eighths inch Forstner bit which coincides with the timepiece that I purchased. Get all this ridiculous wood off of here. That's better. I've got a set of pin jaws mounted in my chuck here and all you have to do is place them in the recess and tighten your chuck up. My wife's Uncle Tim sent me out some tools for the lathe. Record tools made with Sheffield steel. I can't think of a more appropriate project for their first foray into the shop than turning some blue jean. Thanks Tim.
right, we're in round. It's starting to look really cool. Huge fan of that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my parting tool and I'm going to clean up this edge so that it's flat and we can see what we're working with. This would be a gigantic pocket watch. We need to get rid of a lot of material here. So let's just turn this down. getting down to a much more manageable shape. Now you can see my casting could have been a lot smaller than it was. I didn't really have any idea of the size, but it's a very small piece. But uh, next time I would definitely start with a smaller casting. Uh-oh. A couple pieces flying off. Everybody cross your fingers. I think we're down to a size that's feels pretty good feels pretty pocket watchy it is a very small blank after all and I'm just gonna go ahead and switch over to sandpaper now and try to clean this all up so here it is I've rounded it back over and I was about to test fit my piece it's just that's just too much pocket watch casing. I've never seen a pocket watch with that much thickness. Um, so I'm going to put it on the lathe and take it down. Good. Well now, that's excellent. We've all seen it, so if it fails miserably, you can all testify that I in fact did it. Let's see what that looks like. Look at that, it looks ridiculous. It's so silly, it's so little. Definitely a very cool look to it though. Um, yeah, you know what? That's better. That is much, much better. As far as the clock is concerned, it is just a simple movement. You can adjust the time right here on the side. And then it just press fits into the opening that we made. Nothing else to do but attach a chain, and we're good to go. A pocket pocket watch. Well, the truth is, the pocket part was probably turned away. It's like those juice containers that at the bottom they say, this product contains 0% juice. Pocket pocket watch contains 0% pocket. Micarta is one of my favorite materials to make. I've done lots of micarta projects on here. The thing I like the most about the denim micarta is that it is so soft to the touch, it still feels like jean. But it's hard. I mean, it's incredibly hard. That's why it's really popular with knife makers for the handle. So it's very hard material, but it also isn't slippery. So it doesn't get all slippery when you, your hand's kind of sweaty. A couple things to note, you do not need to make as much micarta as I did. Uh, yeah, it doesn't end up needing that much at all. It's actually really thin. I used to carry a pocket watch. I don't know why I forgot that they're not huge, <laughs> but I guess I lost my head. Uh, the other thing is the clock movement and the Forstner bit kind of go hand in hand. You want to get the right size Forstner bit and the right size clock movement and then it'll just snap in. And you can pop it out to update the time and put it in your battery. Makes a great sound when you pop it back in. So I think that's all I've got for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.